Hello. Just like some other people that I've seen on YouTube where the BlackBerry Playbook has stopped charging and won't turn on. After watching a few other videos I decided to try something for myself which sounds a lot simpler than what other people were suggesting. What I did is I removed the back plate from this side with a thin tool and pulled the back off. What I then did was got a credit card and put it underneath the battery just like it says in the other videos that's on here obviously doing it very carefully so you don't pierce the battery and if you look at the orientation of the side of the battery that I've actually lifted up the charger actually plugs in here this side here is where you would turn it on and off and it's this battery on this side and if you can lift it up and lift it up very carefully you can actually expose the terminals of the battery. All that I would watch when you're lifting it up for the first time is there's a little black piece of tape here that's strapped onto a cable. Make sure you undo that before you lift it up. Once you've lifted it up there's a little black flap and we can expose the two terminals which are here just there for your negative and the one that's at the bottom here is your positive the one that's nearest to your actual charging port if you can see my charger there plugged in to the USB slot there now what I did is I put this onto my meter which at the time was showing 2.9 volts and at the minute I've managed to get it up to 3.274 volts and how I've managed to do that is if you notice on these crocodile clips that I've got on the terminals of the batteries is I've done a couple of fly leads off from the battery and I thought what about stat charging and everything else that I can do to get it started why not just do a jump start so I got a battery out of an old HTC phone and I looked at the back of it and I could see from the text that it was still a 3.8 volt battery same spec as the batteries that's actually in here on the actual top of the battery it actually does show you just here it tells you the polarity of the contacts that's actually on the battery and all that I did was quite literally put the cores onto the battery and quite literally give it a jump start what that did do because I've got the charger actually plugged in is it brought the voltage back up to above 3 volts and since I've done that the battery has slowly been charging so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this video as a part one and once the battery is charged up a little bit more I'm going to try the switch on and see if it actually works thanks for watching